Because I want to be busy in the house of God, di ba? Pero hindi mo may iwasan naman na kung kasala ka dahil tao lang na mapunta mo, di ba? And the Lord is always there to forgive us. Kaya, nagkakasala ako. Sorry, ganyan ako. Saka, nasipag ako mag-confess. Di ba last year doon, ano, gawa ka ng Christmas songs? Ba't hindi na nasundan? Dapat ngayon, di ba? Kaya mas pinili mo to, but we are all God's children. Um, kasi po, based on studies, ang isang uh, dapat po, ang isang album mag-last for two years bago mag-umuha ng pangalawang album. Nagkataon po na, so I'm not supposed to do a new album for this year. Kaya lang po, since darating ang hope at nangyari nga po itong event na to, ginawa na rin itong album na to. So, and album is still very new. This is, um, my Christmas gift. And yung isang single po namin ay Disyembre na naman, which, are being, which is also still being played on the radio. So, maybe in the future, that will happen. Pero po, huwag muna ngayon, medyo na ako kami na <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Thank you. We are down to our last two questions. At isa sa magkatanong ay ang isa sa mga bloggers natin, si Mark Madron. Good afternoon, Ms. Jamie. Ang po si Mark Madrana, Pilipinosgrade.com. Ang tanong ko lang po, Ma'am Jamie, what do you feel po about being part of this historical event? Alam mo naman na, let's say, about 20 years from now po, when the kids will back to this event, they will be, their songs, ng the one of those that they will be associated with this moment, this event, kasi hindi po natin alam, pwede dito ulit po sa event. So, what do you feel about that? Ano po yung ulit bahagi na napakalaki? I am very thankful. I am very thankful to the Lord. I'm very happy. I'm excited. And yung sinasabi mo 20 years from now, ganyan din ang naramdaman ko sa Jubilee. Sa yung mga baka ng Jubilee, medyo grown-ups na sila ngayon, at least kila na pa nila ako. Diba? So, kayo yun. Diba? Kayo yun, mga Jubilee song. So, ngayon, masaya ka naman ako dahil itong mga baka na yun, 20 years from now, I hope kilala pa nila ako. Dahil syempre, sila na yung mga grown-ups by them. Diba? So, I feel blessed, I'm happy, and I am um, humbled dahil uh, to be given an opportunity like this, hindi binigay lang basta-basta. Tinabaho ko rin po ito. At nahirapan ko. <laughs> Nahirap din gumawa. Diba? Pero this is a uh, blessed work. And kung baga sinasabi na ito yung masayang pagkakataon, masayang pagtitipon-tipon, at masaya ako, and I would always be thankful and grateful to CBCB for giving me this opportunity and to start with this. Thank you, Ms. Thank you. Give more. Give more. Thank you so much, Mark. Okay, um, Father, Father Jun, um, any, any parting shot to our friends from the press? Uh, we have been saying earlier that this is really a momentous, a historic, and a very graceful occasion. We don't know when the next papal visit will take place. And that is why we call on our brothers and sisters in the mass media to, to really help us uh, celebrate this occasion. And the theme is mercy and compassion. We are all God's children. Tamang tama, fiesta ng Santo Niño yung pagdalaw ni Pope Francis. And we all know the Santo Niño is distinctly Filipino. Sa atin lang po talaga yung Santo Niño na ibinigay na, na privilege to really celebrate that. It is an extended Christmas. And that is why we hope kung makita niyo po sa PayPal logo, para siyang ripple. No? Ripple effect. And kami nga ni Ms. Jamie, hindi lang sana yung kanta nakatali lang sa sa visit ni Pope Francis. Kundi kahit wala na siya, we continue to be a people rich in mercy and compassion. At ang kasal ko, 
Pag narinig niyo yung kanta, mas kalang lumalamot ang puso natin. Lalo tayo naging maawain, makapagin. After all, we are all God's children. So, let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Let us pray for one another. Let us pray for Ms. Jamie para sabi mo kanina, pag narinig siya niyo po, marinig din niyo po ang galing ng Pilipino. God bless us all. Thank you, Father. Um, may pahapon na question lang. Um, at ang pagkatanong ay si Leo Bukas. Eh, kaya no, Miss Landa. Landa 1, Landa 2, Landa 3. Just. Hindi. Paano mo daw ang ginawa yung action video? Johan Jens. Johan Jens, Jojo Banas na yan. Wala, hindi na ako. Kasi si Romel Placet gusto kaya. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Landa Juan from Higaya ng Paginoon. I was asked by a brother of Jamie, si June Cruz, to prepare, to choreograph the song. And I was just given actually three days to be able to come up with it and teach it with some youth so that we can do a demo for Bishop Song. And then when it was uh, first seen by Bishop Song, he said uh, maybe it would be good if just three or four uh, people would be on the action video. And uh, when we showed Bishop Song, uh, JB called me and said that it was accepted, that it was approved, it was it's official. And then after that, um, I thought that they were going to make another video wherein because hindi na ako part ng youth eh. So I thought hindi na po ako kasama doon. And that was okay for me. It was really meant for the youth. But then that was already the video that they, sh they uploaded on YouTube and then they showed it in uh, an event in my CDCB at the uh, World Trap and so on and so forth. And I'm just amazed that uh, the brother of James Jun would say, you know, so many people are watching the action video. It, it, it's, it rippled from 5,000 each day, and now it's like 300,000 plus views. So I, I guess a lot of people are really sharing it and wanting to, to learn it as a way of really welcoming the Pope this coming January. And I'm, I'm just um, overwhelmed uh, because I was telling uh, Jamie, I'm not the best choreographer for uh, this, there's so many talented Filipinos who could choreograph this particular song. But the Lord is just so gracious to give me this opportunity to offer whatever little talent I have. 